preset is a saved group of settings or attributes that can be accessed at the tap of a button, enabling you to make changes to your work fast. In the various clip editors, LumaFusion offers you a variety of pre-made presets that live at the top right of your screen. These have been carefully developed by the lovely team at Luma to help you edit faster and more creatively when you want to make changes to the look and feel of your clips. We call these in the frame and fit editor motion presets as they determine the position and potential movement of your clips as they play through. Just by tapping on them one by one, we can alter the frame and fit of our clip in a matter of seconds without having to manually make a change to the position of our videos on screen or indeed adding our own keyframes. You can see every time I tap a new motion preset, it overrides the previous preset, giving you the option to experiment with the best frame and fit of your clip. Likewise, in the stabilizer, the various stabilized presets enables you to add lock and load stabilization in a variety of strengths, set at specific values designed to help achieve the stabilization you need for your particular clip. You'll notice that you can also alter the attributes of a preset by using the sliders over here on the right, giving you the ability to personalize your edit and ensure you get the exact look you want. This is an extremely important feature in the color and effects editor where we use effect presets, which are available for a range of categories like color, blurs, and chroma and luma keys. Simply tap on the preset you need and adjust the look to suit your video if needed. The attributes within the presets you select will be stacked on top of one another, enabling you to create endless visual effects. These of course can be adjusted and even reordered to create the look you need. In the title editor, we have both style and title presets. Style presets consist of the settings that make a layer look the way it does, including things like size, color, and shadows. Using style presets can be a great way to brand your work, as style presets can be applied to text or shape layers. To save your own style preset, create a layer you like the look of and press the Save Style button. Name the style preset and tap on the Save Style button again, ready for use whenever you need. Title presets are a collection of layers that make up a whole title. You'll find the range of Luma Design title presets in the media library under Titles, which you can edit as you please, removing and adding elements and changing the look and feel of its layers. Once you've got familiar with the presets available in the clip editors, you might fancy making some of your own. Perhaps you're working on a series of videos where you'll need to do the same thing again and again. Or maybe you're designing your own company branding that requires you to have a unique look or feel. To do this and start personalizing your LumaFusion editing experience, look for this Save Preset icon within the clip editors. Save the position and movement of your clips in the Frame and Fit editor by tapping the Save Preset icon to create your own motion preset. Just look at this clip. I've placed it in my desired location in the frame and I've added keyframes to make it move across the screen from left to right, getting larger as it plays. I tap the Save Preset icon to save the motion preset. I give it a name and I save. Now, when I start to edit another clip, I can simply add the exact same motion to it by tapping on my saved preset in the Frame and Fit Editor. On the other hand, perhaps I've made a multitude of changes to a clip in the Colour and Effects Editor and have built up quite the stack of effects here. Rather than having to add all of these to a fresh clip one by one, I can save this look as an effect preset and add to any clip in the future that I like in a matter of seconds. Or finally, let's say I've created my own title in the title editor that I plan on using time and time again. So in this example here, we've got a like and subscribe graphic that I want dragged and dropped on the end of all my YouTube videos. To save this for future use, I simply tap the Add Preset icon and rename the title preset. It'll then be stored in the title editor along with any other of my presets, ready to be selected at any time. You can see here in the title editor, I can move through them by just tapping the presets at the top, which replaces the layers I see on my screen. 
Alternatively, I can access my own title presets by dragging and dropping them onto the timeline from the top of the title menu in the media library. Presets are best created when you're going to be repeatedly needing the same look or feel in your editing. So think about your borders, watermarks, titles or company branding. Design once and use time and time again.